Hey guys, what's up? It's Dropship Tyler here with Matt Gambrow. So, and uh, we're just gonna talk a little bit about um, Amazon dropshipping, eBay dropshipping, uh, kind of our journeys of how we've gotten to the point um, we're at. But uh, yeah, so what kind of topics did you wanna did you wanna hit on first? Um, so yeah, I mean, as far as like yeah, comparing the two, Amazon to eBay, I just wanted to talk about you know like getting started like. For those of you, for those of you who have either done eBay or maybe just getting into Amazon, like what were the, what would the since you do both, what are the, like the differences or more of the challenges that you feel initially when you first start that were like the biggest uh, walls, um, you know, just trying to get things moving. Yeah, right. So uh, I've I touched on this a little bit in the in the last video I did. I don't know if, if you saw it, but it was basically talking about the capital um, requirements. And for me, I just never really felt comfortable with the idea of so much money being out there at any given point. Um, even with using payability, it's like if your account gets suspended, you still owe you know, payability to that money if you can't get it um, soon enough, right? I mean, so for me, I guess the, the biggest thing was the risk of having so much capital out there at once. With eBay, it's, I, get, I, I was never in PayPal jail, so I got the money instantly. So it was nice for me to be able to have this business model that was like pure arbitrage where I was getting the money, buying the product for that person and then sending it to that person. Uh, there was never any money really up front for me, up like cost, whatever, um, to get started. And even in my second month, I wanted to hire a VA and I invested my profits from the first month into that second month with hiring that VA. Um, and even when I like lost money on eBay my second month, it was with profit that I had already gotten and already had in my account. So it wasn't, you know, I never had too much money out there at once. Like the startup cost for Amazon um, was definitely a, a big uh, factor for me on like the timing of getting in. And, you know, um, with, with you kind of also being the one who guided me through it, you knew that I needed to get comfortable drop shipping on eBay before I was to take that risk on. Amazon. Right, 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 for sure. And for those of you like, like that don't understand, like, I mean, maybe new watchers or whatever, um, you know, with eBay, you get paid instantly. And, and of course, you know, it, when, when you're just getting started, it's so easy to rotate that capital in, in and of itself. And uh, the, one of the biggest uh, like factors when it comes to Amazon is they pay you every two weeks. And um, so when you're doing all your revenue and all that stuff like that, it builds up after those two weeks. And then of course, um, it, it, some, sometimes they hold money, sometimes they have a small reserve. There's all kinds of stuff that, that Amazon will throw at you just because they want to feel very comfortable. Because it's, it's considered, you know, of course, the big boy platform. It's not necessarily where you just, hey, this is my first time online selling guys and, you know, all that stuff. And I could, it can be depending on the course, which is, you know, that's the whole point of me doing the course because I'm trying to go through with every, like everything I have, all my bag of tricks and ev absolutely everything, you know. And I said this on a video with Mark, where you know I want to be able to uh, give you guys everything you know when it comes to taxes, when it comes to fees, when it comes to like you know whatever like software, every single little factor I want to be able to to, to, to have that because Amazon is one of those um, uh, platforms that is just it's going to have it, it it is more of a uh, professional platform that, and that pro professional platform is going to just um, require more things of you than eBay. eBay is just I feel like. It's just so much more simple. Like you just even when you're sell, reselling your own stuff from, or if you're going to Goodwill and trying to like you know flip stuff or you know whatever flea markets, um, some people do that, and I used to actually do that myself. But yeah, like when it comes to the Amazon side, it just doesn't. I never, I never really felt that um, that comfortable um, just having them. And when when I used started using Payability because of the volume, it just became like a game changer for me. Just because you know uh, volume is the name of the game. Um, at least when you're trying to. Uh, kind of get to the next level. Um, some people want the margin, and I always say that you know, some, if you're really trying to focus on the margin when it comes to drop shipping, I, I, it's more so where uh, you, you, you want to look into the FBA side of it or maybe the private label side. That's where you're going to see like those those crazy crazy margins. But I agree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, you want to say uh, uh, yeah. So Amazon. Um, when did you start Amazon? Uh, In June of 2017. So it was literally six months after I had started eBay, and I had just recently quit my job, or I told you I was quitting my job, and you were, then you were saying, "Okay, let's get you on Amazon." Because then, at that point, I think you knew I was all in on drop shipping, 
and you were you knew I was ready to kind of take that next step. Right. One thing I want to say, this is very important. Um, so like Alex Becker and everybody always says this, and this is just something that I always like to reiterate. You never ever want to do this and just quit your job. Like we're, like it's just like, oh, I'm buying this course. I'm buying Tyler's course. I'm buying Matt's course, or I'm buying all these courses at once, and I'm going to quit my job. I do not suggest that, you, you know, because that's a huge risk. And it's just like, for me, like I was serving tables and, and I was able to, uh, to, to, to build my credit um, you know, rip, repair my credit a little bit at, at, the, at the time being and, and have a little bit of cash flow. And that cash flow was, was able to kind of give me a little bit of a, you know, uh, momentum. Should anything bad happen, should, you know, m uh, any money be held or should I, you know, things, any, anything that does happen, it does, it does give me a little bit, a bit of a security blanket where yeah. I wasn't necessarily like, okay, this is, um, I, I can't handle this or I can't handle this. So, uh, I quit my job literally, it was probably a year, I had been doing dropshipping for a year. So that's why I said to Tyler, you know, you know, about that time, you know, he, he'd actually been doing, um, it was a little bit different though, because when I started, so he, he quit his, you quit your job six months? Was yeah, it? yeah, six yeah. months after. So it's a little bit different when he started, when I started, because now you have every resource on the planet. There's courses right and left, and there's like people, resources right and left. When I first started, there was like, couple courses and there was not really like all these softwares it was just like this is it this is really all you have and initially I thought I invented drop shipping like in, <laughs> yeah. in a sense like I was trying to experiment it on e eBay and but um, you know what's funny though someone someone else who um, is in the sale freaks group they thought they invented drop shipping too but they started four years ago so everyone who just started drop shipping I think without knowing really what they were doing it's weird yeah yeah they just like yeah, yeah, yeah. They just were like, oh, I think I have something great figured out. But well, all these people were doing it simultaneously at the same time and didn't even realize it. Right, right. Well, I was doing stuff on Craigslist. I was also doing stuff like uh, on Flippa. I was trying to flip domains. I lost like a crap ton of money, but then I got it back. I had, you know, I had it, like, you know, <laughs> using on credit cards, and I got somehow I got it back from the merchant processor. Yes, yeah, so it was it was close. I was close, but yeah, I was trying to flip stuff here, uh, right and left, and, and whatever. Uh, the first thing I was trying to drop ship was like a uh, camera. Uh, on eBay and stuff like that, and um, that that didn't really. I mean, I got a lot of views and a lot of likes and stuff like that. And then finally, I, I drop shipped. Uh, the first thing I sold was uh, on eBay was a uh, uh, air humidifier or whatever. Oh, yeah, yeah. So that was the first thing I ever sold. I, I drop shipped it from Amazon, and that was the that was like the first thing. And then nice. I was like, then I, I didn't even take a course. Like I had no course. Wait, no, wait, no, what year was this no YouTube? What no YouTube say? or nothing. So wait, what year? This was, was 2000 and um, 2015. Um, I want to say June. Yeah. So yeah. it's crazy. So three years, almost exactly three years now is when yeah. you, you kind of got into drop shipping. It's changed how it's changed every single year, right? Like every every year, year is a different year, and every year there's always a different. And that's why I said with the course and the groups and stuff like that that we'll, you know we're creating, it's just like there, there's a it, it'll have all these updates because you can't just launch a course without updates, and you can't have because there's always a new thing that's going to happen. And, and unfortunately, you know, it's just like Gary Vucek. If you can't, if you're not willing to change in business, you, you die. You know, if you can't, if you yeah. can't change and adapt, you die. Yep. It's over. And that's so, kind of the new algorithm with eBay. Right. And everyone complaining about their drop in sales, whatever. You know, I talked to Mark a little bit about it, and he was just like, "This happens every every 12 to 18 months. Like, I promise you, it's happened before." And I, you know, I'm, I'm new enough where I'm kind of naive still, where I don't believe that it has. But like at the same, like not this drastically. Right. But I also believe that if you keep doing the things you were doing with the new with the new algorithm, like you know, product research, all that, eventually you're going to get your sales back because the product research that you were doing was relevant to that algorithm. Now the product research you're doing is relevant to this algorithm. So say you're looking for products that have sold, you know, in the past month. Now, those are all products that the new algorithm liked. So it's just a matter of staying with it and keep on going and keep adapting, whatever, like you just mentioned. Right, exactly. So, yeah, I mean, there's always something, a new way to make things better. I mean, even when you're doing promoted ads and stuff like that, I, I know a guy that actually does like, you know, he does the ads as well on Amazon and, and it was with Amazon yeah, 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 yeah. He's doing that as well and he's actually increased his margins where he's like averaged it out at like, you know, like 25%. So, I mean, he's, it's there's, nuts. there's ways to do it in volume. Um, the biggest thing, the only reason um, that like I've heard as far as like when you do PPC on Amazon and stuff like that, it is a little bit with drop shipping. Um, it is a little bit tedious. So it's just like, sometimes I always like to look at, you know, what's going to give me the most outcome with the least amount of work. Yeah. The thing is, so is, that's kind of the thing that I'm always, well, if, yeah. if you're doing PPC with, uh, you know, very few products, I feel like it's, it's easier to manage because when I was doing the FBA, I, I messed around with it a little bit. I never became like good enough at it where I was making more money using it. But when you're dealing with, and, and that was hard with like, you know, one or two products in Amazon, 
trying to like perfect what keywords and all that. Um, you know, I didn't use any software to do it for me. I'm trying to do it myself. We have thousands and thousands of products on Amazon. Can you imagine trying to do a PPC campaign for each one and then like going back and optimizing it so you're not losing a fuck ton of money? Sorry, I shouldn't cuss, but <laughs> right, right, right. Well, you would, yeah, you would basically come in and see what the ones that are already selling the most, and then you, you can kind of filter them out that way. Um, that's yeah. that's what like my friend does. He'll he'll come in and, and he'll just find the ones that are selling already, and then he'll kind of be able to like you know okay. like yeah. optimize those because you're only he's doing the, like the yeah. PPC is only effective when you're in the buy box, correct? Yeah, you, so you're only paying for it once it's in the buy box, correct? So I guess yeah, it yeah. would only be worth it uh, to focus on the ones that you know you've already sold, yeah. and the ones that. Um, that, that way you're, you already know you're getting that buy box rotation and in those those ones. Yeah, because I have products where I cleaned up like a couple months ago. I had never once, it, it tells you the, the percentage in the buy box. That I didn't have any time in the buy box, so I deleted those listings obviously and <laughs> right. didn't have any sales. Yeah, yeah. So I guess in terms of PPC, it, you're, you are right. It'd be easier to manage your top ones that, um, yeah. Yeah, so I mean, as far as like any other like things that were like really frustrating or um, uh, like I guess a, kind of like a, um, something that is just a struggle for you like kind of getting things going um ever af after that you know first because i will i won't want to say this when he first started he already had the buy box from the from the get, get -go. i did because so that is something i, I do want to like you know re reiterate so that's yeah. a, that's an important point. It, it was i was able to start a lot a lot faster than most people because i had already done that private labeling and my account was 90 days old uh etc so there is a misconception where it, it isn't necessarily 90 days. Um, that is technically what it is, but it, it, it's actually if you, um, whenever your review actually happens. So like if you were to somehow have, I don't know, a way to uh, trick the system where you do a certain amount of sales, you, there's no way you'd actually be able to, or you'd actually be able to get that, um, um, what's it called? So, the buy box. The buy box, yeah. 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 <laughs> Um, so, sorry. No, sorry. Yeah, we had some people walk in. Yeah, yeah. Um, but it, but anyways, yeah, yeah. So once you get the buy box, um, it's pretty much game over and game on from there. And uh, yeah, you're you're all all ready to go and, and and make some money. But it's you can still make money without the buy box. It's just going to be like literally so much harder. When you look at the differences between eBay and Amazon, as far as like, I don't know. It almost seems like in some ways when when I when you don't have the buy box on Amazon, it kind of the way it is on 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 uh, eBay when you you know are, are first starting and stuff like that. Yeah. You know, I mean, not, so you still have you still have PayPal jail that you have to worry about when you first start on eBay. But you know, um, other than that, I mean, you know, you, that's why I said it's just like it's not smart to do business when you don't have any kind of credit or cash or an income because it just doesn't make sense. Like it's just not advantageous. And and so like like. I've heard actually people come up to me and they're like, yeah, I'm doing what you're saying as far as like, you know, having a job and, and it was a guy that was serving. And I mean, you know, that's, that's like, that's a, that was a big part of like what I did because serving was great because as I was doing more and more sales, I could take less and less shifts. Doing a nine to five isn't like that. So it's in, in some ways kind of a little bit tough to make that huge jump because you're either working 40 hours or you're not. It's just yeah. like, it's either or. So it's like, so with this, it's like working, you know, in the service industry was kind of actually convenient. But I mean, and, and coming from you, that's why I said it was something that, you know, that's a huge step because you're cutting out like that 40, was it 40 hours you were working, like 50 or? Yeah, yeah like so. yeah, probably 40 to 45. And um, I mean, I was making 70 a year after bonus. So it's like, I was get, I was willing to give that up and take the risk um, to do the eBay and Amazon business. Right. Uh, so that was a huge step for me. Yeah, um, yeah for and sure. Obvi obviously uh, it was interesting because my parents, you know, my girlfriend, all that kind of had to be on board a little bit and they still didn't really fully understand it. So it was, yeah, nobody um, really understands it. Like my parents and stuff like that. Nobody really like, I guess, um, is it, everybody always is like, I mean, even I have people that would be like, are you, are you doing drug, doing uh, drug deal or whatever? Yeah. Once I do this course, I'm going to feel so much better because it's like, everybody is literally going to be like, okay, this is not, a, like, yeah, you know, now I understand like, it. Yeah. Now I get it. It's like, there's nothing funny. Like, it's like, this is, this is why, this is why it works. This is why it makes sense. You know, and then and then it throws in all the you know the tax litigations, all the resources and stuff like that links. Yeah. And so that's that's why I said I'm really excited about the course because it actually is going to be the all-in-one package. You know, and it's going to show you know new softwares and provide new things like that that are going to be really um, helpful for everybody trying to do stuff. So just I, I want to touch on on the uh, the automation aspect of these businesses too. That you know, because that's one thing that from the very beginning that you uh, reiterated, reiterated to me constantly was. You know, virtual assistants, virtual assistants, whatever. Well, they're your employees. I don't, you don't even call them virtual assistants. You call them employees because yeah. they're literally part of your company. Um, but 
at what point did you feel like like how long into it did you feel like your business was actually like automated um so yeah like when we first started uh when i first started amazon basically so uh that was june 2000 and um or, uh, yeah, not june um July 2000, uh, 2015. Yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. So that was like like our first time, like you know, kind of getting into it. I had the buy box in around uh, September ish, and uh, right around my birthday. And then, uh, but I was still like working like a dog. Actually, I, I I remember working so hard I didn't even really have a birthday. You know, it's just like it was like basically like you know I, I just went every everything the day the days were blaring together. Yeah. And then me and you know my uh, like one VA, I had one VA and her sister. And it was literally like grinding out every single time, like every day, like she was grinding it out, I was grinding it out. And we just were just like, it was like the worst like feeling ever. Just like, I, I can't explain non nonstop. Like, non -stop, I, I, experience, non -stop. I experienced that because I had the nine to five and then I was also trying to build, which yeah, yeah, you, did, yeah, yeah. you did it on a whole Which was level. really hard. Yeah. And so I was still working. Yeah. You know, there was like that. I was still working uh, the restaurant and in school while I was doing eBay and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. and, and then I was still working all these. I, I didn't quit um, the serving job until like another was it six months um, after that. So like I was still up until like November. Um, like I, then I finally was just like, okay, I think it was literally when I got the buy box and I could see the power of the buy box where I was just, the confidence just went to all, all time high. Cause that, that was like literally like the difference was like, you know, when you, I'll, I'll just give you a, like a, a number that way. So everybody knows what I'm talking about. So it was like, like I felt like I could make $2,000 a month without the buy box, but with the buy box now, all of a sudden it was like times, you know, five, like yeah. I could make 10,000 basically. Yeah. That was the difference of what I felt, and, and like if you were like looking at it like a uh, like a dope chart or something like that. Yeah. So yeah, and that's that, that was just like a, a game changer for me. And then you know of course, uh, like for going back to what you were saying as far as like when I felt felt like it was like automation, automated, I just yeah. felt like it was like probably like once I started once I had the buy box, I could afford to hire more assistants. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and then once once I did, and we had you know four five VAs, I was like okay cool. This person's doing the customer service. This person's doing this. We're or organizing everything that yeah. so that I can. And then here's the software. Is this software going to be? You know, how is the software going to work in tangent with what they're doing? How well does it work? We have to test it out. And then finally, when once we're, we've finished, you know, testing everything and felt comfortable, we were like, okay, this is what you got to do. This is what you're checking. Mm -hmm. Then we're having you know people like list and adding that. And just it was there was all these different things. And I had to train everybody to 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 learn how to. Uh, to do their job in the most yeah. effective way. So, but once um, you do that, it's, it's crazy the growth rate. Once you take all those things off out, off your plate that are just kind of holding you back from development, like you said. Right. Well, I've heard here. I heard here's something really important. I've heard a lot of business owners that actually say this, and they're always like, you know, I can never, uh, I can never count on my, you know, my staff to just do what, you know, to do what I do or to be me. It's just so, so frustrating. I was just like, well, the only thing is, is like, and if you're a business owner. You know, you you have to take that take on the, and I'm going to talk about this in the course as, as far as being an outsourcing manager. Like you can't, you're a CEO of a company. You're not paid. You're you're, you're paid to think, not to do. So it's, it's it's like if you are ever going to you know get outside of the doing, because there's only 24 hours in a day, and if you're doing all of the work, you're just gonna you know burn yeah. out, and you're never gonna get out. Your, of your time is worth so much more than you know the three dollars an hour that you're gonna pay a VA. That's right. how I look right. at it. Right, you have to you have to be willing to pay the staff, and you have to be willing to always train the staff. Like as things change, now we have to train the staff differently. Now mm -hmm. we have now we have to adapt. So like when things change in Amazon, we have to change on our like the team, yep. like, you know, because that and changes. They everything. have to be able to learn quickly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's that's why I always say, you know, it being and that's why I said there's the reason why I started doing dropshipping and I always really like to do dropshipping is because the, the the liquidity of it when there's something that changes doesn't put a liability should something change and then all of a sudden now I now I have all this you know, inventory or now I, you know, yeah. can't, now I have this place and I can't afford it or now I just, yep. you're, you're liquid. So you can always, you know, transition into different areas. You can stop whenever you need to. If yeah. If there's, if there's a, if there's a point where you need to stop or you need to reset, you know, you can always do that. Yeah. And so there's never a pressure of, okay, damn, like, I don't really know what to do here. Or like for me, for example, you just said reset. I actually turned my Amazon store off for a month, you know, to, to catch all up on all, all my capital, like all the payments from Amazon, all that. All I had to do was pay the VAs to, to continue to do the customer service from the sales mm -hmm. before. Yeah. Yeah, so sure. it was like very easy for me to hit a reset button and also reduce my cost at the same time to almost nothing. Right. So I had that, that month of, you know, being, of, uh, being able to untie some capital and whatnot. So it was, 
For, for nice. sure, for sure, yeah. Sometimes it's, it's sometimes it's needed, you know. I mean, especially after Christmas, there's a lot of returns and stuff like yeah. that. You know, there's all kinds of stuff that can happen. So you want to make sure that you know everything is on, you're on the right track. Yeah. So yeah, for sure. Um, but yeah, anything else you wanted to yeah highlight or? Um, no, I think just because there's you know people in here yeah, or whatever sure. now. So we're gonna end this video. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching again. I'm Dropship Tyler. This is Matt Gambrel. Uh, go ahead and subscribe to our channels and. You can get more content whenever we, um, whenever we produce it, and yeah, for sure. Also, look out for this guy's course because I promise you, it's it's going to be life changing. Um, yeah. I never thought I would be uh, where I am today, um, especially on Amazon. So yeah, thanks guys. Thanks. All right, man. See you later. Just got done with my uh, the interview with Matt. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it, but uh, yeah, it was. It was good. It was fun riding around in the Lambo afterward. Um, if you guys have any questions, comments about anything, just uh, go ahead and, and leave those in the, um, in the comment section. And go ahead and click that subscribe button. Thanks, guys.